how to maximize your Canada Child Benefit. If you have young children, or if you're planning to have young children, or if you know anyone with young children, then you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to show you exactly how to maximize your Canada Child Benefit. My name's Owen. I'm an advice-only financial planner, a CFP, and I'm the founder of PlanEasy.ca, an online platform that you can use to build your own financial plan and work with an advice-only financial planner when you need it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to maximize the Canada Child Benefit, gaining thousands, if not tens of thousands per year in additional benefits and increasing your net worth by maybe $100,000 or more. The Canada Child Benefit is a generous government benefit. It's available to children under the age of 18. It depends on family income. So it is what we call an income tested government benefit. As income goes up, benefits go down. As income goes down, benefits will go up. The amount that this goes up and down by is called the clawback rate. So depending on the number of children and your income level, this clawback rate can be anywhere from 3.2% to as high as 23%. That means that if income goes up by $1,000, your Canada Child Benefit could, could go down by as much as $230 the following year. Now, this also works the opposite. So if you bring your income down by $1,000, you can get an extra $230 at most from the Canada Child Benefit. So depending on the number of children you have and your income level, this type of financial planning can be extremely impactful. And by shifting the focus from TFSAs to RSPs, we can use the tax deduction from an RSP contribution to lower a household income, taxable income. So that will boost their Canada Child Benefit and potentially other benefits as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through an example to show you exactly how impactful this type of financial planning can be. So we're gonna go through an example on the Plan Easy platform with a family with three children and how we were able to get them an additional $55,000 in child benefits and government benefits and increase their net worth by over $100,000 just by making a couple of simple changes to their TFSA and RSP strategy. So let's take a look. So here we've got Sam and Michael's financial plan. Sam and Michael are both 38 years old and they have three children. They've got three children age six, four, and two. Sam and Michael, they have a combined household income of about $90,000 a year. Uh, Sam earns about $65,000 a year, and Michael a little over $25,000 a year. Now, they also get about $900 a month in Canada Child Benefit, and so that gives them a gross household income per month of about $8,400. Net, after tax and deductions, that's about $6,800. And from that, they're doing quite well. So they're saving about 20% of their net income. And at the moment, their focus has been on their TFSAs. So they've been maximizing their TFSAs every month and putting away a, around eleven to $12,000 a year in the TFSAs. Now, Sam and Michael have a lot of RSP contribution room available. And so they're wondering, can they maybe maximize their Canada Child Benefit, minimize their income tax by changing the strategy slightly? So we're gonna first go to their projections and we're gonna take a look at their initial financial plan. So their focus has been on the TFSAs. So let's take a look at their net worth. So we can already see that their initial financial plan already looks quite good. So their focus on the TFSAs means that at retirement, at age 60, which is their goal, they'll have about 1.5 million in total net worth between the TFSA and their primary residence. And at the end of their plan, they have about 1.55 million. So lots of room to absorb negative investment returns or poor inflation rates. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna take a look also at their Canada Child Benefit. So right now they're getting about $11,000 a year in Canada Child Benefit. That's gonna go down in the future as the children get older. As the children get older, once they get to age six, the Canada Child Benefit does decrease. So that's gonna go down to about $9,000 a year. Now what we wanna do is we wanna see if we can maximize their financial plan, maximize their Canada Child Benefit, increase their net worth by just changing the focus slightly. So we're gonna go down here to the table and we're gonna shift over to the right and we're gonna to go to the RSP and TFSA section. And we're gonna open up these columns for TFSA and these columns for RSP. So we can already see that all of the contributions right now are going to the TFSA. And so the first thing we wanna do is we know that RSP contributions 
we know that the deduction is valuable to lower the, their net income, their taxable income, and to increase their Canada Child Benefit. So the first thing we're going to try is we are actually going to focus so we shift the focus over to the RSP. So we're going to zero out their TFSA contributions. And we're going to do that until age 49. And this is when their oldest turns age 18. So at that point, their Canada Child Benefit is going to start to decline. So we're going to zero it out for Sam. We're going to do the same thing for Michael. And this is going to put the focus onto the RSP. So the platform's automatically going to use the RSP first now. And it's going to make larger contributions to the RSP. So at the moment, their plan at retirement, they'd have 1.5 million in net worth. At the end of their plan, they'd have about 1.55 million. If we recalculate, we can see what the effect will be when they switch the focus from TFSAs to RSPs. So this change alone, we've already increased their net worth at retirement from 1.5 million to almost 1.7 million, and net worth at the end of their plan from 1.55 million to 1.66 million. So we've already added $100,000 or more to their final net worth. So this has already been quite good. If we look at income, we can see that their child benefits did go up. So total non-taxable income, instead of being 10, 11,000, now it's up to 12,000. Instead of eight, 9,000, it's up to 11,000 a year in the future. So we've already added a couple thousand dollars a year in non-taxable income for Sam and Michael, but can we do a little bit more? So can we go a little bit further? Now, Sam and Michael have a lot of assets in their TFSA, so can we perhaps maximize their RSP using up all of their past contribution room? Can we maybe do that with, by withdrawing a little bit from their TFSA for the next few years? So the next thing we're going to try, we're going to try making withdrawals from the TFSA. We're going to do that till age 41, so for the next four years, we're going to withdraw a combined $80,000, $40,000 each. We're going to do that $10,000 a year for both Sam and Michael. And the platform is going to use that money that's withdrawn to then maximize their RSPs. So let's see what that change does. So now we're taking money out of the TFSAs and adding it to the RSPs, maximizing the RSPs over a few years. So we're going from 1.67 million in net worth at retirement and 1.66 million net worth at the end of their plan. And let's see what happens now when we shift the focus a little bit more onto the RSPs by withdrawing from the TFSAs. So now we're up to 1.83 million. So 1.83 million up from our original 1.5 million and at the end of their plan, 1.9 million. So up from 1.55 million, we've already added a few hundred thousand dollars in net worth. Now, if we look at their child benefits now, we can see a much greater impact. So by shifting the focus and putting a lot more into the RSPs, by withdrawing from the TFSAs, we're now actually adding even more to their Canada Child Benefit, as well as some other benefits now. That does drop off at some point, so we can see it does drop off, and that's because Sam and Mike will maximize their RSP at some point in the future. So the shift of focus to the RSP means that at some point they've maximized their past contribution room. Now the question is, can we do this? Can we take this a little bit further? So we know that RSP contributions are good. We know that withdrawing from the TFSA is good. But can we maybe shift the focus and say a specific amount to the RSP that we know will maybe maximize their benefits? So what we want to do is we want to bring down Sam and Michael's taxable income to about thirty-five dollars to $40,000 a year. So instead of having a specific TFSA withdrawal, we're actually going to have a specific RSP contribution. So we're going to put this back. We're going to clear the override on the TFSAs. And instead, we're going to have a very specific contribution that we want to target for both Sam and Michael into their RSPs each year. And we can only do this for so long because they're going to run out of their past contribution room. But the platform is going to take money out of the TFSA and use it to maximize their RSPs. So for Sam, we're going to try about $45,000 a year. We're going to do that for four years until age 41. And for Michael, because Michael's income is a little bit lower, we're just going to do 12,000 a year and we're going to do that the same till age 41. So now instead of focusing on a TFSA withdrawals, we've, we've gotten a bit more specific with RSP contributions and we're going to let the platform figure out how much from the TFSA needs to be withdrawn to achieve those goals. So in this case, we had 1.83 million in net worth, 1.909 net worth at the end of the plan. If we recalculate, we can see what the effect of having very specific RSP contributions will have. In this case, we've added even more to their net worth. So now we're at almost 1.85 million 
in net worth at retirement, that's up from 1.5 when they were just focusing on the TFSAs. At the end of their plan, they're almost up to $2 million now. So this is from 1.55 million. We're now up to 1.965 million. So we've added $400,000 of net worth at the end of their plan. This, of course, you could be used for additional spending throughout retirement. It could be also used for unexpected expenses or perhaps a job loss as they're in their accumulation phase. So by shifting the focus from the TFSA to the RSP, we've maximized their Canada Child Benefit. We've reduced their income tax. We've helped them maximize some of their other benefits as well. So we've gone up to 27, 26, 27,000 a year in total non-taxable income from government benefits. And we haven't really changed anything in terms of savings rate. We've just changed the focus from TFSA to RSP. So they're still saving the same amount. They're still the same income, still the same spending, but by just making a couple strategic decisions around RSP and TFSA contributions, we've been able to add $55,000 in total benefits and over three to $400,000 in total net worth. So this really shows how impactful this type of planning can be in a financial plan and what sort of impact it can have on a family with young children. As you can see, maximizing your Canada Child Benefit is easy to do. With a couple small changes in the way that you're using RSPs and TFSAs, you can really maximize how much you're getting from the Canada Child Benefit. You can increase your overall net worth, increase your Canada Child Benefit, decrease your income tax, and overall have a much more successful financial plan without having to save more. So it's the same income, same spending, same savings rate. We're just changing the focus from one account to the other. Now this type of planning, it does depend on the number of children, your household income, and if you have any group employer benefits, pension benefits, and how much you're already putting into RSPs. It also depends on how much contribution room you have available. So the more RSP contribution room you have available, the more we can maximize your Canada Child Benefit while you have young children. So if you have young children, if you're planning to have young children, or if you know anybody with young children, then you really wanna understand how to maximize your Canada Child Benefit because this type of planning can be extremely impactful and it can help make everything else just a little bit easier. If you wanna build your own financial plan, please go to planeasy.ca, click start planning to see if we're a good fit. And you can use the PlanEasy platform to create your own financial plan to maximize your Canada Child Benefit. If you need help, we're happy to help. Book a call with an advice-only financial planner and we'll help you maximize your Canada Child Benefit. Thanks for watching.